I can I can tell you what I wanted to make. We'll see if it's come, coming along. Right. Um, I love brunch style wine, and 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 the bigger the heavier the better in in my world. So I, I wanted to make a, a wine that's a little bit east meets west or west meets east. Um, so we chose Syrah fruit. So I, I can say this. Watch me say this. I, we chose Syrah fruit from uh, Washington State. Used a yeast that's popular in the Northern Rhone Valley, and are aging it for its first little while in a, a brand new Virginia oak barrel. So it, it really is kind of East meets West meets Old World. Yeah. Um, and it's going to be a big wine, uh, high alcohol right now. We're going to throw a little more tannin in it and let it hang out, out for a while. Um, we're calling it 5S Syrah because there's five of us somewhere else, and there's a label design floating around somewhere. And it's fun. It's really good wine and. Yeah, it's going to be really better wine. Trying to make it a bit more rustic than a fruit-driven Pacific Rim Syrah. And I, th I think it's there. I did sneak in a little bit of goodness into it this week. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> Which is where that rougher <laughs> texture edge comes from. A bit more the shut enough to pop kind of mm -hmm. Don't yeah. notice that on my uh, tracking log. <laughs> yeah, it's the magic. There's, what, there's uh -huh. what we write down, then there's what Chris does. <laughs> <laughs> Some, sometimes we meet in the middle, and sometimes we don't. <laughs> this is nice though. It is. Do you approve? Even with the stuff he didn't tell you about until now? Other than the fact that it's not written on my tracking one, that's alright. Okay. Well, we have to have measured it then. <laughs> pinch of this, pinch of that. Like adding salt to soup, right? Exactly. <laughs> just, just a touch. Just a touch of love. <laughs> It is nice wine. It's going to be a very nice wine. Uh, the fruit is, is starting to go down already, you can tell. Yeah. Um, well, it's kind of closing down, which is good. You don't want a wine to be tasting wonderful um, months before bottling. That exactly. means that, that it's ripe and ready to go now. You want, you want the flavors to close down and shut down, and that's how I played with it a little bit, just to kind of push it back down again, let it become a bit more reductive. So later on, like we're pushing down a flower that's not ready to bloom, mm -hmm. you want it to bloom later when you're ready for it. Exactly. You should taste those.